A briquette, or briquette is a compressed block of coal dust or other combustible biomass material such as charcoal, sawdust, wood chips, peat, or paper used for fuel and kindling to start a fire. The term comes from the French language and is related to brick. Coal briquettes Coal briquettes have long been produced as a means of using up small coal, the finely broken coal inevitably produced during the mining process. Otherwise this is difficult to burn as it is both hard to arrange adequate airflow through a fire of these small pieces, also it tended to be drawn up and out of the chimney by the draft, giving visible black smoke. The first briquettes were known as culm and were hand-molded with a little wet clay as a binder. These could be difficult to burn efficiently, as the unburned clay produced a large ash content, blocking airflow through a grate. With Victorian developments in engineering, particularly the hydraulic press, it became possible to produce machine-made briquettes with minimal binder content. A tar or pitch binder was used, obtained first from gas making and later from petrochemical sources. These binders burned away completely, making it a low ash fuel. A proprietary brand of briquettes from the South Wales coalfield was Furnacite, developed by Powell Dufferin. These were intended to emulate a high-quality anthracite coal, such as that from the Synhydre measures. This involved blending a mixture of coals from different grades and colliery sources. Furnacite used the following mix Bituminous coal, 25% Steam coal, 45% Dry steam coal, 22% Pitch, 8% early briquettes were large and brick-shaped. They could be stacked, or even built into walls. The Antarctic expeditions of both Shackleton and Scott took large quantities of these briquettes with them and used them to build pony stables. As the ponies were eaten, as planned, for food, the stables could be dismantled and used for fuel. Furnacite briquettes later adopted a squared oval shape. This regular shape packed well as a good firebed, with plentiful airflow. They are also easy to mechanically feed, allowing the development of automatically controlled heating boilers that could run for days without human intervention. <laughs> Charcoal briquettes Charcoal briquettes sold for cooking food can include Wood charcoal fuel Lignite coal fuel Anthracite coal fuel Limestone ash colorant, starch binder, borax release agent, sodium nitrate accelerant, sawdust, wax some brands binder accelerant ignition facilitator, chaff rice chaff and peanut chaff some briquettes are compressed and dried brown coal extruded into hard blocks. This is a common technique for low rank coals. They are typically dried to 12-18% to moisture, and are primarily used in household and industry. <laughs> East Asian briquettes Homemade charcoal briquettes called tadan were found after charcoal production in Japanese history. In the Edo period, polysaccharide extracted from red algae was widely used as a binder. After the imports of steam engines in the Meiji period, coal and clay became major ingredients of Japanese briquettes. These briquettes, Renton and Mamatan, were exported to China and Korea. Today, coal briquettes are avoided for their sulfur oxide emission. Charcoal briquettes are still used for traditional or outdoor cooking. Woody flakes such as sawdust or coffee dust are major ingredients of modern mass-consumed briquettes e Topic. Use in China Throughout China, cylindrical briquettes, called feng wo mei, beehive coal feng wo mei, feng wo mei or mei, coal mei or lian tan, kneaded coal lian tan, lian tan are used in purpose-built cookers. The origin of mei is renton, kneaded coal lian tan of Japan. Renton was invented in Japan in the 19th century, and spread to Manchukuo, Korea and China in the first half of the 20th century. There were many Renton factories in Manchukuo and Pyongyang. Although Renton went out of use in Japan after the 1970s, it is still popular in China and Vietnam. Then. Coal. 
The cookers are simple, ceramic vessels with metal exteriors. Two types are made, the single, or triple briquette type, the latter holding the briquettes together side by side. These cookers can accommodate a double stack of cylinders. A small fire of tinder is started, upon which the cylinders is placed. When a cylinder is spent, another cylinder is placed on top using special tongs, with the one below igniting it. The fire can be maintained by swapping spent cylinders for fresh ones, and retaining a still glowing spent cylinder. Each cylinder lasts for over an hour. These cookers are used to cook, or simmer, pots of tea, eggs, soups, stews, etc. The cylinders are delivered, usually by cart, to businesses, and are very inexpensive. Peat briquettes In Ireland, peat briquettes are a common type of solid fuel, largely replacing sods of raw peat as a domestic fuel. These briquettes consist of shredded peat, compressed to form a virtually smokeless, slow-burning, easily stored and transported fuel. Although often used as the sole fuel for a fire, they are also used to quickly and easily light a coal fire. Biomass briquettes Biomass briquettes are made from agricultural waste and are a replacement for fossil fuels such as oil or coal, and can be used to heat boilers in manufacturing plants, and also have applications in developing countries. Biomass briquettes are a renewable source of energy and avoid adding fossil carbon to the atmosphere. A number of companies in India have switched from furnace oil to biomass briquettes to save costs on boiler fuels. The use of biomass briquettes is predominant in the southern parts of India, where coal and furnace oil are being replaced by biomass briquettes. A number of units in Maharashtra India are also using biomass briquettes as boiler fuel. Use of biomass briquettes can earn carbon credits for reducing emissions in the atmosphere. Lanxess India and a few other large companies are supposedly using biomass briquettes for earning carbon credits by switching their boiler fuel. Biomass briquettes also provide more calorific value per kilogram and save around 30 to 40 percent of boiler fuel costs. A popular biomass briquette emerging in developed countries takes a waste produce such as sawdust, compresses it and then extrudes it to make a reconstituted log that can replace firewood. It is a similar process to forming a wood pellet but on a larger scale. There are no binders involved in this process. The natural lignin in the wood binds the particles of wood together to form a solid. Burning a wood briquette is far more efficient than burning firewood. Moisture content of a briquette can be as low as 4%, whereas green firewood may be as high as 65%. For example, parameters of fuel briquettes made by extrusion from sawdust in Ukraine MJ equals megajoules. 3.6 megajoules equals 1 kWh. The extrusion production technology of briquettes is the process of extrusion screw wastes straw, sunflower husks, buckwheat, etc. or finely shredded wood waste sawdust under high pressure when heated from 160 to 350 degrees Celsius 320 to 662 degrees Fahrenheit. As shown in the table above the quality of such briquettes, especially heat content, is much higher comparing with other methods like using piston presses. Sawdust briquettes have developed over time with two distinct types, those with holes through the center, and those that are solid. Both types are classified as briquettes but are formed using different techniques. A solid briquette is manufactured using a piston press that compresses sandwiched layers of sawdust together. Briquettes with a hole are produced with a screw press. The hole is from the screw thread passing through the center, but it also increases the surface area of the log and aids efficient combustion. Paper briquettes Paper briquettes are the byproduct of a briquetter, which compresses shredded paper material into a small cylindrical form. Briquetters are often sold as add-on systems to existing disintegrator or rotary knife mill shredding systems. The NSA has a maximum particle size regulation for shredded paper material that is passed through a disintegrator or rotary knife mill, which typically does not exceed 1 8 square. This means that material exiting a disintegrator is the appropriate size for compression into paper briquettes, as opposed to strip-cut shredders which produce long sheets of paper. 
After being processed through the disintegrator, paper particles are typically passed through an air system to remove dust and unwanted magnetic materials before being sent into the briquetter. The air system may also be responsible for regulating moisture content in the waste particles, as briquetting works optimally within a certain range of moisture. Studies have shown that the optimal moisture percentage for shredded particles is 18% for paper and 22% for wheat straw. Environmental impact Briquetted paper has many notable benefits, many of which minimize the impact of the paper waste generated by a shredding system. Several manufacturers claim up to 90% volume reduction of briquetted paper waste versus traditional shredding. Decreasing the volume of shredded waste allows it to be transported and stored more efficiently, reducing the cost and fuel required in the disposal process. In addition to the cost savings associated with reducing the volume of waste, paper briquettes are more useful in paper mills to create recycled paper than uncompressed shredded material. Compressed briquettes can also be used as a fuel for starting fires or as an insulating material. <laughs> Safety Charcoal burners should not be used in enclosed environments to heat homes, as carbon monoxide poisoning can be fatal. See also Biomass cook stoves Energy in Victoria Wood briquette